Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Trey's Timeless 15 Minutes of Explain. Not a podcast, no cell phones involved. Just put her microwave, raw, spontaneous, unedited, informed notes. View from a polyester room. And today I would like to talk to you about the relationship between ambition, power, authority, respect, and divinity. When a certain someone whose last name starts with the seventh letter of the alphabet, who is an unelected official, forced everyone in the USA, and even funding the certain organ- three-letter organization to lock down the whole world, more recently became the largest owner of farmland and USA property. And of course, being into biotechnology, transhumanism, and eugenics, it's all GMO. Now, as I've said before, If there was such a thing as free will amongst the elite, then perhaps you would see these people running cannabis companies. Now, why do they have to have, why does it have to be GMO? Because my argument is that the more you are high, the higher up you are in this hierarchy, the less free will you actually have. Um, I I, I think this person is, is really sad. It's really sad that they've been led to believe that they still have a free will to do such abusive things, okay? But that is precisely the negative alien's agenda. That's precisely how uh, brilliant they are. Like I say, if it's possible to be brilliant at mind control or body snatching and cloning or fully controlling the wealthy and powerful However, all of you who obeyed these unelected officials, I, I begged you not to, and um, I'm still working on this long book called The Creature from Jekyll Island. And um, So I bring that up because the thing I think the whole world noticed in uh, 2020, 2021, was that there is no connection between ambition and power and respect. Um, if they didn't notice it, then they're going to suffer this, the consequences of their Stockholm Syndrome more. But, um, you know, uh, the, the mainstream media has made it unquestionable. Um, you know, it's the, the, the Nazification, you might say, of the status quo is very, very uh, frightening if you, if you don't have faith. Um, but, um, you know, I would say we all have to forgive uh, YouTube and all of USA who obeyed eventually because uh, you can't really make it to the promised land when you, when you hold um, anger, regret. You, you'll never be free uh, when you hold on to these anger, this loose vibration, this lower frequency. Uh, and I know it's going to be hard for a lot of us to forgive we're watching the suffering our loved ones have gone through, um, but they made their choice. And uh, again, if it was fake informed consent or not, is um, is this a case by case basis. Um, but you know, I wrote down censorship is abuse. Okay, so one might ask, how could um, YouTube put up with me? Well, I don't have very many watchers. How could YouTube put up with Russell Brand having six million subscribers? 3,000 people watch, watch him when he first posts something. Well, because we know how to articulate, self-censor. Um, you learn to be the opposite of, of, say, Alex Jones, like I say, because one does not want to be a loose factory uh, when you, you know, and not to say that Alex wants that, but, um, you know, he perhaps feels the subconscious pressure from uh, certain nefarious groups. Uh, So, um, 
the enemy is extremely well organized. Okay, this is something everyone is going to have to face. It says on the preface of Kurt Vonnegut Jr.'s book, uh, Slaughterhouse Five, about his experience in a war as a soldier. If the powers of good can organize along the lines of the mafia, the powers of good can overturn the powers of evil. But you know what, folks? I mean, like my notes, it's um, the powers of good have a lot of faith and connection to divine beings, but we have a long way to go to get to that level of organization. I mean, they're master organizers, obviously. So um, once the disclosure comes out, about all the bribery. I had a little chant I was singing a few years ago. Lockstep was made of bribes and threats. Lockstep was made of bribes and threats. Okay. Well, how can I chant that on YouTube? I'll tell you why. Because um, when you become aware, when you're born again fully to the real Christos, or even 91%, you feel you must become an elder to the elites. What does that mean? As Lisa Renee said, the higher octaves of Saturn are self-mastery, so that if I have enough discernment and self-respect, self-discipline, and courage, and I'm still enough of a blockhead or still suicidal enough to do it, I am going to tell the elite, you are spiritual kindergartners. No one who had any self-respect would do what you do. And so with kid gloves on, please, sirs, back down. As I've said in other videos, your powers can only be um, over 3D slaves and base chakra, and maybe the second. You don't influence those who aren't controlled by that, okay? Those who are power mad, um, these same individuals, Mr. G, also put money into blocking out the sun. As um, a, a philosopher friend of mine said uh, when I re re remarked on this, yeah, they want to prove full dominance. Controlling the, making it so that you don't have access to the sun for weeks. Hey, if you're not willing to be a wage slave or take this shot to keep your job, and if you're not willing to coerce and cowardly um, obey, we can just make it so that you never see the sun, or at least not for a, the rainy season, entire month for three or four weeks. You think plants and animals and humans can survive in that? Well, someone who lives in a uh, in a, a big city that is like that 11 months out of the year because they have reptilian DNA in a huge enclave uh, doesn't really give a shit. It's just like they're masters, you know. And again, I have to say, I ha we all have to come to compassion for all these critters. And um, one of the things I want to say in this episode is that it's a heavy job but the reptilians have to be brought to the christ everything has to be brought to the christ or it will not survive so if any of you love your masters um this brings up another the next point okay no matter how much money um they bribe you to separate you have to break the trend okay we're coming upon the age of, of full disclosure um, where one who has pure intent and awareness um, can manifest and be a part of it, the spiritual reality. Um, but the slavery program, um, you know, was brought to my attention recently that in the days of chattel slavery and all the other forms that were where it's overt, not just wagery slavery, the majority of the house slaves stayed. They didn't leave. Now, in some cases, this could be because their masters, the owners of the plantation, were like treating them like res with respect as members of the family, letting them um, nurse the babies even and do all the feed them, their cook their food with love, and even re even in the case of Thomas Jefferson, reproduce with them. Um, so. Um, so you compare this dialectic, or you compare this particular attribute to modern day situations, right? Okay. Remember the movie, um, The Shawshank Redemption? There was this really elderly man 
who was released from prison after like 50 years. And he hangs himself, right? Well, in the year 2023, okay, let's say that the Christ came down right now in the form of full disclosure of awareness of everything that I've said that wasn't just a guy in a tent. Okay, um, and you were around this region here, the coast, central coast of California. Well, wage slaves can become very, they can work very hard to become addicted to survival. Because this place is so beautiful. The food is so good. The weed is so good. If they surf, the waves are so good. These mountain bike trails right next to me are so good. Um, a homeless, a lazy person, an addict, or a mentally ill, someone suffering from a physical disease even, could become addicted to suffering in the cold water paradise. Become addicted to suffering for survival with their food stamps in a tent or whatnot, for example. Um, because the beauty, the beauty of the surroundings and their food and their ganja and the, the food not bombs and, and the people take care of them so well and the socialist California system makes it so easy for them. Um, that it's very hard for them to, it's like the opposite of Bill Gates or Klaus Schwab's problem. It's like they don't feel any ambition. Okay, so this is sort of like covert narcissism. Okay, you have... Uh, People who suffer from this in reverse, which I have from blaming, you know, blaming it on having suffered depression since 14. Um, again, that's another idea I have to throw out. So, um, also, I, I have been influenced by Indian and Tibetan mysticism. And, uh, you know, in some ways I agree with Osho Rajneesh about Gandhi. In some ways I don't. And. In some ways, I think Gandhi was completely uh, the brilliant, like I say, the Sadriagaha movement. Vandana Shiva is one of the most amazing people you could ever look up on YouTube when you get done with this video. If you feel my passion, okay? If you want to learn about how to recreate freedom with um, institutions, um, even. So... But on the dark side, um, as Osho said, he sort of like convinced Indians of this thing they had already believed for thousands of years, which is the romanticization of poverty. The idea that what I'm doing now is more sexy than living in a mansion. Man, not, not accurate. Okay. So neither is actually what uh, the, the legitimately spiritual person wants, um, the appropriate my friend Hugo always would ask me when I'm describing situations is it appropriate um, so these people these uh, ascetics often can have a spiritual greed they'll put out the begging bowl do nothing physical material laziness or just actually having no respect for the the maya the fake the physical world but yet um, they will you know, think that um, taking care of their body and meditating and getting enlightened is all that matters. It's it's an old scam, you know. Unless they've already, you know, unless they're ready for nirvana, it's an old scam. Um, so what I got to say to the world is, um, how, why is it that nobody but me and a few others who ever even seem to point out the blatant conflict of interest, um, the powers of fear, um, Satan's club, you know, um, those that manufacture these things are going to lock up the world and, and force you to take it or one of the other companies. I mean, does anybody, I don't understand why more people than several others even mention that. I mean, it's like blatantly, ridiculously illegal. And um, you can steal the whole world. And uh, does anybody know what happened with Reiner Fuelmich's case? Let me know. Um, the geoengineering, the ter terraforming all, uh, also is, is really blatantly obvious, man. Yeah. It's all obvious, man. The, the, the stuff growing, it's obvious, man. So there's a huge conflict of interest. It's obvious. And my attempt, my goal is to bring it all to the light of Christ awareness. I love you, my family. And if you enjoyed this, click subscribe, babies and adults and masters. 
children, slaves, and free people. I love you all.